what's up guys so here's another video about um different things that you can expe expect when you're dating a colombian girl that you may not uh, consider and expect because just culture difference like you've been from the states or from different country and you come here and you start dating a girl and some things might happen that will take you by surprise and you could take it in a different way right you could um interpret it wrong or whatever so here i made a list real quick so the first thing is going out going out with a colombian girl here uh family super important is the family unit is very tight so it is not uncommon to it's not uncommon to go out to the bars the clubs and um say it's a group of friends going out, right? And your girlfriend wants to invite her parents, like have her parents come with, with her, or her mom, um, or her aunts and uncles, you know. That can happen, that happens often. A uh, group events can include the parents, you know? So I know back in the States, to think, well, I'm gonna go out with my, my girlfriend and her friends, and her mom's gonna come too. That doesn't happen in the States, not often, not really. But uh, here in Colombia, it happens. It happens. So, the other thing about family and, and parents stuff, birthday parties. Um, if there's a birthday party going on, the parents might come. Okay. Uh, traveling vacations is not uncommon that you know you guys want to go to a, on a trip, and she wants to take her parents with you with them, with her. You know, uh, if she's working and she has a good job, uh, and she's a good girl, she'll pay for her parents. Like my. When I travel with my girlfriend, um, I pay for my trip, I pay for my girlfriend's trip, and she paid for her parents. And we all four went on a trip together. So that's common over here as well. Okay, so the other thing that, that can happen, which I'm not sure, maybe this is the same in the States or not, but things are so progressive in the States and and everything is changing so fast. It might not, it's not, my, my, this might not be true anymore in the States. So over here, as a guy, expect to pay most things. Um, expect to, when you, go, when you go out, when you take a girl out for dinner, you're paying the bill. Uh, when you guys go to the movies, you're paying the bill. When you guys, whatever, expect to pay most things. Uh, the taxi, everything's coming out of your pocket, which I'm totally fine with that because that's the traditional way of dating. Um, as a guy, we we show that we can take care of the woman, and they still they still do that here. So uh, don't be offended if if you think that oh she's trying to take advantage of me. No, that's just the culture. The culture here is the guy pays for most things. Now that being said, uh, if it's a good girl, she'll invite you as well. She'll say no no I want I want to buy you some uh, the ice cream today. Or no let me pay for these tickets. You know she'll do it as well. It'll be, it won't be as often, but it'll happen, okay? So that's one thing to expect. The other thing, and here's something that, that pay attention. Don't, don't go crazy if this happens to you, okay? <laughs> Hopefully a lot of people watch this video so you won't make the mistake. When you go out to the club and say it's a salsa club or whatever, a dance club, um, and you're with your girlfriend, say you're sitting at the table with your girlfriend, and a Colombian guy comes up and asks your girlfriend to dance. It's okay. It's okay if, you, if your girlfriend's Colombian and the guy's asking her to dance, she'll probably say yes and she'll go dance with him. Okay. If it's salsa, porro, the type of traditional dances that are are you know like this. If your girl, if a guy comes up and is playing reggaeton, and reggaeton is like a super sensual dance where where you get the girl, you're right behind her, and you're basically dry humping on the on the dance floor. For that kind of dancing, and you're with a good girl, she'll say no. She should say no. If you're with a girl who says yes, you say you're with, she's your girlfriend, you're sitting at the table, and a guy comes up and asks you to go dance reggaeton and starts bumping and grinding on the dance floor, that could be a clear sign that this girl might not be for you. All right? Because um, <laughs> most, most, girls would would say no I'm with my boyfriend 
But if it's salsa, a type of partner dance that's not bumping and grinding, uh, it's gonna happen. So I say this because in the States, I myself, I know that in the States, if I go with my girlfriend to a club and a guy comes up and asks her to dance, uh, a lot of guys will get jealous of my, if, if your girl goes and asks for that guy. It just doesn't happen. But here in Colombia, it happens. And that's why, and the other video I made about how girls here in Colombia are more approachable than guys than uh, in the States, than girls in the States. If you're in a club and you want to go da ask a girl to dance, just go ask her to dance. If it's especially if it's a, a salsa or not the bump and grind kind of dance, they're going to say yes to you. Even if they're with their boyfriend, they'll say yeah. But that doesn't mean that they're interested in you. That's just a, that's a prime example. They might, they're not going to be interested in, interested in you because they're with their boyfriend. <laughs> um, so that's another thing to, to watch out for or to, to expect when you come over here. Uh, don't get jealous. Don't throw a hissy fit because, oh, why'd you go dance with that guy You're with me? No, just, that's just part of the culture. Just part of the culture over here. Um, let's see. The other thing in talking about dancing, and let me see here. The, talking about dancing is, well, if you're dating a Colombian girl here, they're gonna expect you to dance. So if you go out with her to the club and you sit down at the table and you just sit there and you never take her out to dance or get up, or you only dance once or twice, she's gonna get very bored very quick. She's gonna get sad and she's not gonna understand why you don't wanna go dance. Because here in the in Colombian culture, in this culture, it's all about having fun, dancing, it's having a good time. And possibly a lot of you guys out there think, well, I can't dance, I don't know how, I don't know how to dance. Well, first of all, get in the dance classes and learn how to dance. There's, there's places for free in, in Poblado that, that teaches free dance classes like salsa. So there's no excuse, learn some steps. But second, don't worry about it. If you suck at dancing, it's okay. As long as you're making the, the intent, like you're trying, you're showing that you're, you're trying and you're having a good time. You go out there, you're having a good time, they don't care. And tell you the truth, uh, say for example, salsa. You might hear salsa and you think, holy crap, I can never dance salsa. Majority of people here in Colombia that go to the clubs, the bars, uh, say you go to a bar that has mixed music, they're always changing the type of uh, music, salsa, reggaeton, uh, whatever, bachata. There's changing up. When the salsa song com comes on, most people don't know how to dance salsa here. They they dance with the, they have the rhythm and stuff, but like the traditional moves and the passes and the turns, the fancy stuff you see in competitions, they don't dance that way. They just they just feel the music and they move and they vibe to the music. So you can come. You don't have to know steps and, and special turns. Just come and vibe to the music, and your girl will love it. She'll love that. Wow, you're a foreigner and you're, you're, you're trying, uh, you're accepting my, our, our culture, and she'll be happy with you, trust me. So uh, that's the other thing, they're gonna expect you to dance, all right? So don't just sit there like a, a bump on a log and, and, and kind of make this whole party go down, you know? Um, and the last thing, last thing I'll give you guys a tip. Smell good. Um, <laughs> smell good. So. Some Colombians over here, they, they, they see foreigners um, and they see these foreigners who are backpacking, you know, they're living in hostels, they're, they're walking around with shorts and, and sandals and, and looks like they haven't showered in a couple of days or whatever, um, wearing the same battered clothes, you know, with holes and stuff. And they, they get a stereotype, they think, wow, all foreigners are that way. No, smell good, take showers, wear, put on cologne, wear nice clothes, like a, a nice shirt if you're going to go out with a girl. Don't wear shorts, don't wear sandals, and uh, they're gonna expect that. Why? Because they, Colombian women like to look good as well. They take times, they do their nail, they do their hair, they dress up. They don't just go out wearing nothing like uh, pajamas, like in the States. You go, whenever I go back to the States, it blows my mind that you go to the grocery store and you see women walk around in pajamas and sandals, and guys walk around with a uh, uh, bathing suits and a, a t-shirt you know and, and sandals it's just it's like did you just come from the beach or did you just roll out of your bed i mean come on uh over here they try they try to dress up they try to look good and they do look good so they want you to look good so expect those things when you guys come over um if you guys want to have a chance with um, a Colombian girl and you actually get in a relationship these things might happen 
don't let jealousy take over. Uh, just understand it's part of the culture. Uh, if you guys have any other questions about the culture or things about relationships over here, comment below, let me know. I'll make more videos. Um, like, subscribe, and uh, you guys have a wonderful day.